Hey, what's up guys? So not so long ago, I told you guys that my brother had got this dog named Zoe. You can see on the screen right now. Well, I'm finally getting around to training her because you know, it's been very cold out here. We weren't able to do it, a lot of snow. Plus I got sick and um, I didn't feel really good at all. Neither did my family. So I'm feeling a lot better. I'm out here uh, 10 a.m. about to go and start training Zoe right now. And I want to put together a little series on each command and how I train a puppy. And I want to give you some a little bit of raw footage of what it looks like. And um, I'm going to head over there right now and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. So keep watching. All right, I just got here with uh, Zoe and Trey. See if I can get them in the, in the picture. There goes Zoe. 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 What's up, baby? You getting big. So everybody say hi to Zoe. What's up, Trey? What's up, Trey? All right, we're going to do a little bit of training with them. But first, I just let her out her kennel. And I want to show you guys how we potty train. So let's go outside. Let's see if she's able to use the bathroom right now. I'm not sure if she's fed or drank yet. I'm sure she has, so she probably needs to use the bathroom. But um, she's a beautiful dog. What's up, baby? So I know some people have been like, oh, potty pads have worked for me. They've done really great. My dog is able to use the bathroom on them. I still think that's counterintuitive to what you're trying to do and what the goal is. Your goal is to make your dog use the bathroom outside. So right now, I'm gonna let Zoe out in the back and as soon as she starts peeing or pooping or whatever she's about to do, then I'm gonna praise her for that, uh, give her a treat for that and that signifies in her brain, this is the right thing to do. Plus, you wanna be consistent on what the area is that you're taking them out to. So if you're letting them go out and pee in the backyard all the time, then that's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that they're going consistently to that spot, and that's how you're able to get a, a system down for their potty oh, training. Oh. oh. So I'm sure they let her go out here somewhere. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Yes. Yes. Good job, baby. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Good job, baby. So I did a little pee song. Um, you know, I don't know if that's something you would want to do, but I like to be like pee, 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 pee. And as soon as they start peeing, then I reward that behavior. Good job. I'm going to let her be for a little bit longer and see... Uh, if she's gonna use the bathroom again. Good job, baby. Come on. Come on. Trey wants to play. Come on. Go beep, 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 beep. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, she's still going. Yes, Zoe. Good job. Here, Trey. I know you want some, boy. I know you want some. Good job, baby. Good job. Okay. Don't over reward them because you want to let them know what they did. Good job, good job, good job. So that's the basic. She pooped over there and uh, I rewarded her for it. My timing was a little off to be honest because uh, Trey over here bugging me for treats, but um, that's what it is. That's simple. So let me reiterate, all I did was let her go outside. As soon as they start peeing and pooping, then you reward them for that behavior. It's very simple, guys. And you do this consistently every day. Some people ask me, how often do I have to take out my dog? Honestly, I would say 15 minutes, but you could kind of gauge and judge when your dog is about to use the bathroom. If you see your dog sniffing on the ground, looking for an area, then it's more than likely they're about to use the bathroom inside the house. 
Also, um, after you feed them, uh, they have smaller bladders, so it's very likely they're gonna start using the bathroom right after that meal or that bowl of water. Um, treats can make them use the bathroom. It's very simple, guys. And um, there's gonna be accidents. It's, it's unavoidable. Um, just like babies, they poop on themselves. Uh, it's a process with them. It's gonna be a process with dogs. You can't blame the dogs for peeing and pooping in the house. You just gotta be patient, be consistent and um, you're gonna be able to get this down. I would say about, it takes one to two weeks. It could be a lot shorter and it could be a lot longer, but if you're consistent with it, it's, I would say about uh, two weeks, um, your dog will start getting familiar with the process of going outside. I'm not saying that uh, it's gonna be perfect in two weeks, but Zoe here, my brother's been working on him or her, and um, I could tell that she's already getting the process down. I don't know if she has accidents. I'm sure she does, but it is what it is. So she's doing a good job. Good job, Zoe. Good job. All right, now that I gave you a real life example of how easy it is to start potty training your dog, one thing that I do want to note that some people are going to say is they are gone for long periods of time, so that's why they use the potty pad. Maybe they put it in the crate. I am not against this idea. What I'm talking about when I say that pee pads are counterintuitive is when people are actually home with their dog and they lay a pee pad down and uh, they rather them go to that pee pad rather than taking them out to every 30 minutes or an hour, however long that is. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So although I do think they're good for using them inside the crate, sometimes dogs are not meant to be alone for that long period of time and we have to give them potty breaks as much as we can. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is people that live in apartments. An alternative to using the pee pads is actual real grass pee pads. I'm gonna put a picture up right here where you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this is really ideal for the people that live in apartments, people that have dogs that are not all the way vaccinated yet, or they have disabled dogs. This kind of pee pad could come in real grass or artificial grass. I really do recommend you get the real grass because artificial grass, you could kind of confuse the dog on what to do with the actual pee pad. As if it was real grass, they will get the concept, they will get down the smell and know that this is where they need to go. And it's a lot more beneficial. It can actually help with your potty training. So that's why I suggest you go with the real grass and you can leave this grass out on the balcony and um, they can get a little feel on where to go. And again, it helps with the pee pad. It's good for unvaccinated dogs because if they're not all the way vaccinated yet, then they can't really go outside because they might get exposed to viruses and whatnot. So you could use this, maybe your potty training, and you could use this as well if you're not able to go all the way downstairs, especially if you live in an apartment or in the city. And also, if you have a disabled dog that has trouble to get into their potty area in time, then this is also ideal. It is not uncommon for dogs that get older to not have accidents. It is very common that this happens as they get older. So this could be ideal for you as well. In the long run, the real grass may cost a little bit more than the artificial grass, but it could really curve that time that it takes to start potty training your dog. So if this is something that you wanna pick up, that you wanna try out for your dog, I will put a link in the description to the best one that I could find that could be very beneficial to you where you could go and grab that today. So this is a better alternative to pee pads in my opinion. So if you like this video, you found it very valuable to you, hit the like button below and let me know in the comments, how long did it take for you to curb your dog's potty training issues or accidents? I'm kind of curious on what that is and I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out.